All right, welcome back to Inside Flicks. We're going to be doing our box office report. Rich, tell us what was number one this past weekend. Uh, it's another uh, huge weekend for Doctor Strange and the Ma Multiverse of Madness with $61 million, uh, to make it number one. And uh, number two was uh, The Bad Guys with $6.8 million. Number three was Sonic the Hedgehog, number two, with four point five. Number four is Firestarter. The new film with Zac Efron came in uh, with $3.8 million. And rounded off on number five was Everything Everywhere All at Once, which once again made it an impressive $3.3 million. Yes, let's talk about Everything Everywhere All at Once. This was a, a pretty decent stronghold here for the last couple of weeks. They've been number five. And they're kind of slowly but surely making some money here. And I'm actually very surprised and happy that this movie is making some money. Yeah, it's it's getting close to $50 million, uh total in the U.S., so... And they keep adding theaters. Yeah, and uh, it only dropped six percent. So, and we just saw James Hong uh, getting his star, a much neat, well deserved, uh, well deserved uh, Hollywood star in the Walk of Fame last week. Yes, this movie is probably the biggest, buzziest movie of the year, and uh, so I'm glad that it's making money. Yeah, and we're all we're all very happy with uh, you know the the box office that this movie is going to continue you know to make, but you know across the multiverse. <laughs> Uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is, you know, uh, doing very well at number one, but unfortunately for the film has had a pretty massive drop, you know, for the MCU, this is uh, an even bigger drop than The Eternals. Yeah, it dropped uh, even more than The Eternals, it was 61% was The Eternals, and uh, Shang-Chi was uh, 52% for the second week, so this is uh, probably the worst from... First worst drop for the MCU, the uh, D Disney MCU. Um, yeah, and ev ev everyone was expecting this to, you know, make box office, you know, in that kind of ballpark area of Spider-Man No Way Home, like close to $2 billion. Mm -hmm. And it seems like this is going to more likely, you know, probably m maybe make a billion dollars. But uh, if it does, you know, it it's going to probably struggle to get there. Let me ask you. Because a lot of people have been saying that this is the most scariest mm. uh, MCU movie ever. And this movie leaned in more of the horror elements because of director Sam Raimi and that uh, some parents uh, didn't want to take their children to. You think that hurt the box office? No, yeah. it wasn't. I don't think it was that scary. I mean, uh, it was just the. No, no, I've, I've seen, I, I saw, you know, some reactions and stuff. And I, I, I think kids are, for the young kids, this is, this is scary. I mean, maybe it is. I didn't know this. But I mean, kids today are. Um... <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about kids today. I, I think parents today are a little uh, helicopter parents, you know. Right. And so right. they're they're much more aware of what they're showing their children. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean you're speaking to someone who uh, grew up watching Poltergeist when he was six years old so right and right. poltergeist was a pg movie so i don't know i think times have definitely changed and if we're going to say that dr strange in the multiverse of madness is you know the most scariest thing you could show to someone then what do you say to a person who saw poltergeist when they were a kid you know yeah but what about um when a couple of weeks from now jurassic world dominion i mean they're gonna have uh dinosaurs eating people most likely yeah yeah so I mean, yeah, but that that's going to appeal to, you know, the the audience that loves, you know, the horror part of Doctor Strange. Uh but you know, I think the MCU movies kind of appeal to a lot of people that are just kind of like, you know, people that just watch Disney movies for example. Uh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. It's, it's okay. more mainstream, I say. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I get, there's a lot of kids out there buying toys. I mean, with the, their fi action figures, so yeah. Yeah, and and I've been hearing on, online that there's a lot of kids that like they're scared of Wanda now <laughs> and like, you know, they, 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 they don't like that character anymore. Let me bring this up. Do you, you think that number that dropped had something to do with the peop people who didn't watch WandaVision and they were kind of confused with the movie? You could have an argument that this is actually more a Wanda in the multiverse of Mandis than say a Doctor Strange in the multiverse of Mandis. This is more of a sequel to WandaVision than anything yeah, else. Yeah, I, I I think that's a great point that never even crossed my mind, but for some reason I don't think so. I don't think yeah. that it affected it, but it's very possible that it did, but I don't I don't think so. After WandaVision, Wanda had fans, you know, all over the place. Yeah. And what they did to her character in this film 
was Oof. just, you know, it, it just left it totally upside Rushed. down. Yeah. It's kind and, of like uh, the final season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But regardless, the, the, the film itself, Doctor Strange, is, it's, it's doing huge in the worldwide, too. So uh, it's still a strong hit. I mean, it, it's, so far it's made $688 million. I mean. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It, it's yeah, huge. Yeah, it's huge. So, But I think uh, when, at least I thought that the movie was going to be even bigger than Spider-Man No Way Home. That doesn't seem like it's the case. It, I think there's a good chance that Thor Love and Thunder is going to be maybe the bigger, yeah, bigger yeah. MCU movie of the year. Well, I think so. And let's talk about Firestarter, which is a movie that I kind of the we big all, new release of the week. Yeah, we kind of kind of expected that it wasn't going to make wasn't going to make a, a lot of money, but this is actually a really low number for a Universal film. I, I was actually expecting the movie to like make a little bit more than this, but I got to say I watched the movie on on Peacock and seeing the quality of the film, I'm amazed that it made this much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zach Efron is the only uh, actor in it, uh, known known actor in it. So, uh, what what money it, it made on in the box office? To, it's most likely his fan, probably. I right, well, I mean, and also I think just people that want to see it out of curiosity because it's a Stephen Keen adaption, or because just hey, what's this fire starter movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, horror fans too. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Nevertheless, it's available on Peacock, too, so maybe that's also a reason why it didn't make that much money in theaters. It also got really bad reviews by from critics. And audiences. And audiences didn't really... It's not getting great word of mouth. Uh, so, yes, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a dud. Yeah, and that was the big you know release of the week. Uh, so what's coming out next week? Coming out this Friday is Downtown Abbey, A New Era, which is opening up wide along with Alex Garland's uh, new film, Men, which is also open up and wide. Um, opening up in limited release is uh, Machine Gun Kelly's new film, Good Morning, which which also stars his fiance, Megan Fox. And also streaming this weekend is also is the, the new film, Emergency, which, which was a grand jury prize winning film from Sundance this year. Uh, so obviously I think Doctor Strange 2 has a really good chance to be number one again, most likely would be number one again. Although, yeah. don't uh, overlook Downtown Abbey. I think that they have a strong following. People are going to go see that movie. But I don't know if it's going to be enough to beat Doctor Strange 2. Yeah, I don't think so either. But I think Downtown Abbey is going to have a pretty strong number. I think it's probably going to make, um, I'm guessing, anywhere between 15, and, 15 to 18, 19 million. And uh, unfortunately uh, for men, uh, for Alex Garland, I don't think his movies really do that well in the box office usually. So, and I mean, this one is getting kind of a bit more mixed word of mouth. So, I, I mean, I think this is going to have a small box office. I'm guessing it'll make under 10 million. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think the um, the word of mouth ha hasn't been that great, and so I think that's hurting the its chances to to break out. Yeah, this, despite me, I'm such a big fan of Jesse Buckley, who, who's such a rising star. Uh, I I don't see it making that much money at all. All right. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see. The, we'll see you, and we'll come back next week with a, a new video. Bye bye.